Did you guys hear the news? Roy Cycled Papers just released their fall and winter line. In today's video, I'm taking two papers and one of their stencils and transforming an item that I recently thrifted. Here is the piece that I recently thrifted. What caught my eye was it was metal. It had two hangers on the back and around the edge, guys, it was all chippy and it looked distressed. I knew right away this was going in my cart. So the brainstorming started and I grabbed blue tartan, which is from the new line of papers. And my vision here is I'm going to cut out a round circle and this is going to be the very base of my project. Next, I grabbed Winter Stag, and this paper caught my eye right away, guys. I am from Wisconsin, and I love anything related to deer. These are elk, but I knew right away this was going to be incorporated in my project. Lastly, I grabbed the frame stencil, and this is something that I actually wanted to do to my husband's deer heads. I wanted to put a frame around them, so I am going to do that in today's project. To get the perfect round, I flipped it over and then I laid down my paper and I basically took my finger and went around to try to create the most perfect circle. Then I grabbed a scissors and I started cutting and I cut the circle out and it was pretty perfect, but not exactly how I wanted it. As you can see, it was just a little bit too big, but I set it in there and then I took my fingernail again and I just traced with my nail to make the perfect circle and it was going to be a perfect fit. I then cut the little bit of excess off. Now that's a perfect fit and exactly what I was looking for. Let's go ahead and start decoupaging this. First and foremost, let's check the hangers and back. They are perfect. Uh, live and learn from previous projects, guys. Always make sure that your hangers are where you want them. Now that I have the paper placed exactly how I want it, I am going to do a starter strip. And I am using DIY's Liquid Patina, which is by far my favorite decoupage medium to use with recycled papers. And I'm applying just a nice even coat right on top. From there, I am going to lay that down, the, or the paper down, and smooth it out. And this really ensures that the paper stays in place and helps me alleviate as many wrinkles as possible. After your starter strip, you're going to start working your way down, apply another coat of liquid patina, smooth that next section out, apply another coat, smooth the next section out, and while that is drying, then we're going to work on the next piece. For the next step, you're going to need a stencil. I'm using the Roy Cycled Frames stencil, a piece of tissue paper. I had this from some packaging. Don't mind the wrinkles. It will work its way out. And a pen. And what I'm doing is laying down the stencil and I am taking the pen and tracing around the very edge so we can cut the actual frame out. And that's what I'm doing here. I am taking the scissors and cutting out the frame. And I'm just rough cutting it because this is going to then be decoupaged onto the blue tartan paper. If I were to just decoupage this directly on, you would still be able to see the blue tartan pop through the white. So what I'm doing here is taking a piece of saran wrap, misting it, and then flipping my paper over so it's the back side of the frame, and I am applying an even coat of white swan paint from DIY. This is a great way to layer your decoupage papers because then that way you won't be able to see directly through. So I'm applying just like I said one even coat of it and while this is drying then we're going to start the next step. While that's drying I start by cutting out my elk and I love this paper because there's so many possibilities with it guys but here I am just rough cutting around the entire elk and once I have that done we're ready to start decoupaging and pulling this all together. 
Here is the frame tissue paper that I cut out and painted and now I want to place it so that I can determine where I want the frame so that the elk actually fits on it. Now that I have it placed, I am going to start decoupaging it on just like I did with the paper. So applying that starter strip, laying the paper down, and then working out all the wrinkles. And as I start working my way down, it really smooths out that tissue paper and all the wrinkles really go away. There are a few, but I'm embracing that because I am now going to apply the stencil over the tissue paper. In the meantime though, this does need to dry very thoroughly before we go any further. So I'm going to set this aside, let it dry, and then let's play around with the stencil. I decided to try a raised stencil on here. I have seen others do this and this is my first time and after doing it in this video, I will definitely be using this technique in the future. It's so fun, adds so much dimension to your project. So the key is lay your stencil down, make sure it does not move and then take lightweight spackling and just rub it in. I I would also recommend waiting the full 30 minutes before proceeding after you remove the stencil. I actually tried uh, to rush the process a bit and a bit of the raised stencil was not completely dry and when I started brushing on the um, paint for the next step it did peel away a little bit so I stepped back, let it dry thoroughly, and then continued on. My vision for this frame is I wanted it to look like an old vintage gold frame. So I grabbed the DIY gold gilding wax and a waxing brush and I started on one side, worked my way around and I just used a waxing brush to apply the wax let it dry for a little bit then i went back in and on all the raised surfaces i added just a little bit more wax to really emphasize that raised stencil look and i am absolutely loving the look of this and how it's turning out now it's time to do the finishing touches applying the elk and just like i applied the blue tartan paper and the frame decoupage paper I am doing the exact same thing. I'm working in sections, so I'm starting uh, in the middle actually, and I am going to start with his head and then work with his antlers. Uh, there is the raised stencil that we have to take into account for, so initially I do everything inside the frame, then I start working on his ears, then go into his antlers, and I just really make sure to take my paintbrush that I'm using with my decoupage medium liquid patina and just really making sure that I get it in all of that um, the raised stencil. I love the look of this and I'm so excited to try this whole process with other decoupage papers as well. Now that I have his whole top portion all taken care of, I am now going to work my way down. And then the final touch that I do is after I get him completely decoupaged on, I take my liquid patina and I just do one full coat of liquid patina on the entire piece. And then this project is complete. Here it is guys, the finished project. I hope I've inspired you today to try a new technique, whether that be layering your decoupage papers with painting the backs white, or using that raised stencil. There are so many amazing uh, stencils that Royce has available along with the papers. So go ahead, get creative, and I can't wait to see what you guys all create yourselves. And thanks again for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.